right, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of the Poor Man Road to Glory. Uh, you guys have had, what, about 24 hours or so since last episode? So anything I cover here is going to be relative spoilers. Uh, first of all, well, this won't affect... This effect, this will affect North American viewers, but I don't think this is this this time zone daylight savings time will affect European viewers. So my videos are still going to be uploaded for 8 a.m. UK, which is usually midnight West Coast, 3 a.m. Eastern. But because of the time change, I think my videos will then be uploaded at like, I don't know, 11 p.m. West Coast, like 2 a.m. Eastern until the daylight savings time the time falls back by an hour in north america which i think is in a couple of weeks so anyways um because of that things are a little bit weird right now so 6 p.m content is for me basically let's say at 7 p.m timing so it's, it's just it's kind of jumbled up my whole stream and made things difficult so what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be recording the rtg and 6 p.m content all in and around the same time so for the USA viewers, I'm going to be starting the RTG early and then doing 6 p.m. content within the RTG. Now, again, YouTube, nothing's going to change. The 6 p.m. reaction will still be uploaded separate, but it's all going to be within the RTG series just until uh, the daylight savings time catches up. Then we'll go back to the usual. We do 6 p.m. content on the main account, and then we quickly jump over to the RTG for, for a two-hour grind. Now, um, I I apologize, as always, right? The, the Friday back-to-back -back recordings and games played is always really really tough to do um and i mean I, perfectly perfectly symbolized by being five and one at one point on the rtg to now being um uh i believe we are something horrific yeah with five games remaining from five and one to eight and seven so i'm genuinely concerned that we might not even get anywhere near 11 wins i've been that bad this weekend which is hilarious because on the main account we're 10 and 10 wins and two losses we should be 11 and 2 again people just quitting at a draw as you'd imagine i mean technically in this game even on this account we should be 9 and 7 right now because we were beating that guy 3 nothing last episode and then he just quit or disconnection glitched and it took me out of the game and didn't give me the win but still counted the game played like just a disgrace but <sighs> what are you gonna do Sometimes weekend league, sometimes ultimate team can be really, really annoying. So we're just going to grind it out, try and see if we can go three wins, two losses. I'm just very, very uh, doubtful of my abilities right now in this game. I'm really, really struggling. But uh, we did a little bit of grinding. We got ourselves a Centurion complete. So YouTube, if they're already skipping through the video, they're going to be like, wait, what? Who did he pack? Who is this crazy guy? PSG Centurion. Yeah. We, uh, we got Centurion Danilo Perea done. I wanted to try and get him done as quickly as possible so I could give you guys my thoughts on this card. So for our final games of champs, as much as I'm trying to get Archie Gray done uh, uh, quick time, I will also test out this Danilo Perea. I mean, on paper, he looks really, really good. I think very much with a shadow, he'll be good. The problem is, of course, I don't really have any players to link him up. So we're going to have to think things through here and see where or how we can get him on chem. I mean, six foot two, medium high. You can play at center back as well, which is kind of cracked. That pace split isn't the best. I do believe a shadow will make him very, very nice. The agility and balance also is problematic. You could argue maybe you should give him an engine, but his passing is pretty good too. It's just the agility and balance. Now, if you want to use him as a defensive uh, powerhouse, I, d I do believe shadow or maybe anchor. Anchor would be kind of crazy as well. But yeah, the shadow on full cam at least taking out to 81 acceleration and uh, 85 sprint speed is very, very good at this point in the game. So we'll see how he plays. Um, we have at the end of this episode at some point, we'll have uh, our champs rewards, whether I bottle it and only get nine wins. I apologize. I've never not gotten at least 11 wins in any ultimate team ever since FIFA 17. So I guess back in the day, it would have been, I never ever didn't get gold three or gold two or better, right? What, whatever that metric is, but seriously. So this is going to be painful if I uh, bottle 11 wins. Um, I'm going to do my best to not, but just know that it's very likely right now. I'm, I'm very much struggling with gameplay, with refusing to play the meta, constantly losing to the meta or weird bounces. 
I feel like I create five to 10 goals a game and barely score one or two. I concede two or three high press give ups of possession and concede two or three goals a game because of it. So I'm really, really struggling to, uh, to adapt and find my style of play right now in FC 24, but we're just going to keep plugging away and seeing, uh, what we can do with it. Now, before, before we get into it, oh, and also within this episode, you're going to see, like I said, in, in 27 minutes, you're going to see 6 p.m. content. So if that's something you want to see, I would say fast forward to 27 minutes from now to see 6 p.m. content. Um, and then I guess fast forward to near the end of the episode if you want to see FUT Champ rewards. Or if you're going to stick through all of it, well, let's just uh, let's get on with the grind. So in terms of my day off content... They did drop an Andrea Pirlo, who seems pretty expensive, but I've heard from a lot of people he's actually very, very good. And... I mean, realistically, maybe we can test him out, or, or I guess on the uh, on the rich man, we can we can go get the five game loan and game loan. It is only eleven golds for five games. I might want to test out this uh, Pirlo. Do you think using him at Cam would even be possible? I know he's slow as hell, but what do you guys think about this Pirlo at Cam? That could be kind of fun with an engine. His shooting isn't great though. You know what? At Cam, actually, a finisher could be incredible. Finisher? Sniper? The one that works on uh, dribbling shooting. What do you guys think? Should we, uh, should we just get his loan and see how he plays? Again, I have some random golds here and there. It's a bit of a waste, right? Bit of a waste, but to just get an understanding of how he's going to play for us, why not? No, I'm not going to restructure my whole squad uh, to use him, like, into a new formation. We'll use him in our ultra-attacking Tiki Taka 4 2 3, one I feel like Pirlo at Cam could be super, super fun. Um, you don't need pace at Cam. I mean, any, any Cam that I use, I never touch their pace. Right? The only Cam that I've used this year that has pace is obviously Johan Cruyff on the Richman account. But we've used a, a, bunch of, a bunch of players that don't have a high amount of pace so why not we'll uh we'll we'll test him out today see how he plays we got a uh, team of the week player pick oh that refreshed 23 hours ago so even though 6 p.m content is in 35 minutes they've already refreshed content that's really weird but 6 p.m content hasn't been released now my, my brain hurts uh centurion challenge 2 that dropped yesterday i actually haven't looked at this what's centurion challenge 2 First owner, two. Country's max four. Okay, 23 chem. So that's pretty pretty chill. You can just basically do a one a one nation thing here. Maybe uh, whenever I get a dupe, we'll do that one. 23 chem is not that big of a deal. And have we seen anything else? Dynamic duos is still the Italian boys, right? Um, Hernani, Angelina, Silvers. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So that's all good. And then let's just bop. I think we've got a couple of packs ready to go. Like I said, the main focus for this episode is always going to be Champs Rewards. So this epi is Champs Rewards. Next epi will be Squad Battle Rewards, up Upgrade Packs, that type of thing. Um, yeah, it's pretty dead content. But we'll, we'll bop a couple of these. See how it, uh, see how it looks. I mean, maybe I should be saving these for 6 p.m. content. I don't know, actually. 6 p.m. contents in 24 minutes. Maybe we go play a couple of games of uh, Champs with Pirlo. Pirlo and Danilo, and then we open even even these, what you'd consider dead packs. Dupe untradeable? Okay. Never mind. Wow, that is so crazy that that is discard. Silvers always seem to sell well, so... Surprising. Yeah, I mean, yeah, these are, these are not exciting at all. Um, and then we have... <clears throat> Promos wise, an absolute gluttony of packs to pick from, which are all terrible. And we have the premium, but you know what? Even with this, I'm going to wait for 6 p.m. content. Yep. That's what we're going to do. Let's get into it. Oh my god, I'm actually nervous. I'm actually nervous to bottle 11 wins. What's wrong with me, man? 8 and 7, dude. What? Oh, god, I'm terrible. Okay, so we're going to move... Um, I guess we'll move Willy Nanto out of the setup. Um, so we said we wanted to try Pirlo. Can I use Pirlo? At Cam? Pirlo can't play at Cam? What? Wild. Is he just play at center mid and DM? Huh. 
Interesting. Okay. Oh, yeah, and so does Archie. Well, whatever. We can go with the 4 3 3 flat. And then Danilo. Formation. Oh, my God. Look at how delayed this is. That's disgusting. Right, and then, yeah, like I said, we're going to move Ampadu out of the setup for now. There we go. And we will use Danilo, who cannot be played at center mid. That is another problem. Oh, I guess we'll go to a 4-3-3-3 then. Yeah, we'll go to a 4-3-3-3. There we go. Okay, and if we go to a 4 3 3 3, with everyone in position. So he's on two chem, hey? Okay. Um, so I don't have a Japanese manager or, or, or a need for a Japanese manager anymore. So would just a straight up Portuguese Portuguese La Liga? I feel like Portuguese La Liga would work, yeah? Danilo can play at center back, yep. Yeah, he can. I want to try him as a DM though. I feel like most people are gonna use him as a DM. Okay, so he goes up and someone drops. Who else dropped? Someone dropped. Right. So I believe La Liga will work then. Right? Kubo, one, two, three, four. Yep. Yep, La Liga works. That's sick. Wait, does La Liga work? I think I did it right. Oh, whatever. These are a dime a dozen in terms of... Wait, do I not have a La Liga manager card? For real? Huh? I don't have a La Liga manager card. Oh, there it is. Oh, it did nothing. I'm an idiot. I... Do you guys think that's okay? I think that's still okay. Yeah, La Liga does nothing. It was a waste. But I think that's okay. Let's run it. So I personally think a finisher is going to be the choice. For Danilo, obviously a shadow is the choice. But shadows are extinct at 5k. And do I want to use a shadow on him? I feel like the answer is no. So if I have a catalyst to burn, I'm going to use a catalyst purely just because it, it will get him the same pace and we want to understand if he's usable mainly with the pace his defensive stats are good enough as it is i mean honestly boosting his um passing stats is not a not a bad thing 89 long passing 90 short passing not much of an improvement but decent um okay all good we'll go buy a finisher go here consumables player chem style i think finishers are back down in price yeah dude finishers are going for about 1400 i can't remember who was an sbc player that caused finishers to boom up in price from discard to 1400 but pretty awesome i might even buy the second one if it hasn't sold already yeah nice just look at the left of the screen. Thank you for the suggestion. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. Let's have a look at this Andrea Pirlo. The maestro. Controlling the midfield. See how he looks as a central cam. So medium, medium work rate's a bit of an L. But four star, five star, right footed. 92 finishing. 96 attack positioning is crazy. Then we've got 81 balance, 93 agility, 99 dribbling with all... Of, I mean, I feel like he's going to be amazing. I really do feel like he's going to be amazing. I understand he's very expensive. And he's got dead ball as well. So I'm not going to be missing out on um, on uh, matters. Because, I mean, we have the same ball delivery from Pirlo. So this could be fun, man. As I bottle my way to not getting 11 wins. Lol. Right, so this is our main formation. As you guys know, I am not playing any ratty tactics. We're doing possession instead of the broken direct passing. We're doing 60 depth, which is still attacking, heavily attacking, but not the broken 71 depth. We're not doing press after possession. Um, we're doing five, uh, five depth as opposed to, again, the, the glitched out 70. So 
We're gonna see. We're gonna see. I mean, I could even go six depth, you know, because that'll keep things uh, decent. So Pirlo through the middle, Ruter striker, Kubo and Somerville out wide, Gray Perea through the middle. So that's perfectly set up. The 4-4-2 is a little bit, um, if I'm being ultra high pressed by D-Gen and we need a little bit of safety, we'll go to this setup. So again, everyone's set up well here. And this is kind of holding on for dear life. If we've got a two or three goal lead and we're only playing a guy that has 10 players behind the ball high pressing once you get into their box, which is what the 71 depth glitch does, you switch to this setup. And I mean, that looks really good without even changing a damn thing. Honestly. Danilo Perea drops into the middle. All right. So I'm going to be very, very disappointed. Very, very, very disappointed with myself if I can't clutch up 11 wins, man. I, it's going to be a bad weekend if I don't do that. Bad, bad weekend. All right. Okay. Now here's hoping people aren't going to be toxic and just quit on the five game loan for uh, Pirlo. I mean, considering what an original fun team I have here. Yes, my two center backs are sweaty, but I mean, I need a little bit of help. Anyways, hopefully people aren't toxic. The main account, man, with the amount of people quitting is just driving me nuts. We might only be able to play this one game, guys. It took a little while to get started. I don't even remember what my um start time was. Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all. Set timer for one hour and 43 minutes. Ready for this match. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary. Oh, dude, considering how bad my record is, like, I'm still not playing bad teams or bad players. It's kind of nuts. Like, where are the noobs, man? Where are the Sunday noobs? What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Come on, Pierre. Does he have a beard? His dynamic is him not no beard. Oh, Pirlo does have a beard. That's wild. Oh, here comes a high press. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> Another game of high press. Unreal. I am disgusted. I'm not going to get 11 wins, guys. Look at this press! I, can't, I literally can't do anything. The noobs finished this morning? Is that accurate even? Araujo. The ball. Well, it certainly is a big day for him as he okay. up the half century mark in terms of appearances okay. in the club stewards. But he's done really myself. well since he joined the club. He's proved to be a good signing, and I'm sure he'll continue to be a valuable player here for quite some time. Let's hope he plays. Dude, today. what the hell is this press man? Gray. Pirlo. Andrea Pirlo with 96 passing can't make that pass. Oh god, this is gonna be a rough one. And the dream yeah, destroyers right. now in potentially a awesome. position. I'm so happy you missed that. Uh, we're screwed, guys. I ain't I ain't getting eleven wins, man. I don't know what this matchmaking is where I only play these like degenerate rats that just break the gameplay. Look at this. Okay, so I beat the two three man press. No nowhere to play the ball though. Come on. What is that pass, Kubo? Dude, it's like the high press makes your players idiots. Look at this. Okay, come on, focus. Green timed, what a save. Doesn't even go out of bounds. Bro, what am I watching even, man? Sorry, I'm already complaining, but I mean, hopefully you guys can understand why. Disaster. I can't breathe. Guys, I genuinely cannot breathe right now in this gameplay. 
to the goal that puts them ahead. Blocking it. Brilliantly blocked. I think what's so painful for me is completely untalented losers just absolutely get a thousand chances a game, man. Because this high press is such a broken pile of shite. Here low, completely fouled, no call. I hate this game. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I don't know how you guys could watch this type of gameplay and think there's any type of skill gap. Such a disgrace, man. And what's worse is his whole team is on full stem, by the way. 24 minutes of high pressing all game, his whole team's on full stem still. Not to mention, he's fouled my players about seven times and the ref hasn't called anything. Yeah, man. Joke. Well, apparently Pirlo has about 70 passing. And that's very intelligent play to win back possession. Unbelievable, man. This is awful. I hate this game. I hate this game, guys. This is the worst game they've ever made. What a terrible game. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this press. 30 minutes straight of high press. No, no drop in stamina whatsoever. And Blanc has it. Vinicius Jr. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Danilo Pereira. I'm just trying to play that to some of them. From the dream destroyers. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Look at this. No options anywhere. Look at the press. Look at the goddamn press, man. Good technique display. Delivering it into the box. Pressing like that will help the cause. Unreal, man. I'm trying to do a one-time pass there to Kubo. I don't know what I was supposed to do there, man. I don't know. My fault. That play is my fault. Awesome. Make the tackle and get double high press to lose the ball within three seconds by the same player you tackle. Losing possession here. Ashley Cole. Now with Cole. Andrea Pirlo. Pirlo looking for gaps in the defense. Well, it nearly worked out. And a fine interception. Unreal. Iago Aspas. Worst game I've ever played in my life, honestly. Absolutely worst game I've ever played in my life, man. Just a disgusting pile of shite. Unbelievable, man. Actually unbelievable. Disgrace, man. And away they go again. Breathtaking stuff from the Dream Destroyers in the first half here. Will we see more of the same in the second half? No shot, right? Clever pressing. Clever, pressing. Uh, clever high pressing. Oh, yeah. So clever to do it for 90 minutes with no punishment. So clever, dude. Wow. Great commentating. That's a good looking ball. 
Okay, I literally can't do anything, man. Even intelligent passes into the middle are just immediately covered. Sophia Smith and the Dream Destroyers pushing the ball forward with options available. And possession lost there. Nice way to awesome. the pass. Araujo. Now with Cole. Look at this That's press, Cole. man. Are you joking? James Madison. Dude, Shackleton, what? Madison. Offside. Unreal. I knew he was offside the second I played the first time pass. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, we have 30 minutes There's to go. so much delay. I don't even know what to do. I literally don't know what to do. Wow. Done. Awesome. Amazing gameplay. Well, the post getting in the way. Amazing gameplay, dude. So great. Well, it just petered out. Well, I can't believe that didn't go in. So close to finishing this game off. Good-looking build-up as they try to reduce the arrears. Terror. I mean, I don't... That is not a good goal, guys. If you watch how bad the gameplay is there, it's not a good... I'm going to concede anyways. Nah, man. I just, I hate this game. I hate it. I hate it, man. Look at the press, bro. Ashley Cole. Putting all their energies into winning back possession. It's another goal. Good save. Bro, you need to move the ball quicker in this game. Bro, when I click a first time pla pass and my players take a touch to slow the play down because of slow gameplay, I can't do anything, my man. I literally cannot do anything, dude. I try to make a pass and my players delay by a solid period of time. What, like, what am I supposed to do while being high pressed? I don't know what I'm supposed to do, man. I really love the uh, the the couch play, the you know the the constant suggestions of what you think I should do because I know you're a 20 and 0 player, but brother, I'm trying, man. Trust me. Awesome. Great pass. And support available. Nice. Win the ball back and hey, double bounce back. Let's go. Destroyers moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? And again, another tackle right back to him. And again, walks through the tackle and squares it. What a tackle by Jamie Shackleton. Holy Jesus Christ. Did he just miss? Did Pirlo with 97 finishing just miss from there? I, I feel like I have to blame myself, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how Pirlo misses from there. That must be something I did wrong. I'm pretty sure he's got 97 finishing. 96 composure. I don't know where finishing is. 92 finishing. I, how does he miss from there with those stats? I don't understand. I must have done something wrong there, man. I don't know. Oh, we're not even getting 11 wins, dude. What a dis disastrous weekend, man. What a disastrous weekend, guys. I am so sorry. I, 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 you guys should be seeing much better gameplay from me. What an embarrassment. Nice switch 
Wow, how does that header work exactly? Awesome. Oh, just lost. Be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Can they find a late level up? Rafi, you gave me no option. That's a foul. Ruffy, you gave me no option. You ran at me, my dude. Oh, my. Um... What a save from Courtois. Oh, my. What a save. What? Oh! Oh my! I I I'm in disbelief. I did, dude. It feels like every single game is like this for me this weekend, man. That chance for Summer uh, Summerville for Ruter. I don't know. That's game over. Holy God, dude! The losses I've had this weekend have blown my mind. I'm on team press, but my whole team's doing nothing, so amazing. Wow. What a disgusting disgrace of a game, man. Are we 8-8 eight and eight right now? Well, it's content time, I guess. <sighs> Let's see what we got for 6 p.m. content, boys, because my brain cells are melting with gameplay. Yesterday, we got Pirlo. We're currently testing out Pirlo right now, and he does not seem very good for at least my style of play, which is a bit crazy. Um, being that it's 6 p.m. content right now, things are going to be a little bit messed up, so you guys are going to see 6 p.m. content episodes um but they're going to be recorded within the rtg until daylight savings is adjusted did they forget content i mean surely i don't have to refresh the game right I, I know it's a mini release so we might have to log in and log out let's double check here you'd think we'd be seeing a um sbc on a sunday of some sort you might just have to log in and log out wait did they forget content Oh no, wait, so no icon got added. I see a uh, Felipe Anderson, who I think is new. Lacazette, I believe, is new. All incredibly unoriginal players. Ryerson is new, at least he's original. No icons, though, I don't think. Um. Okay. Objectives on a Sunday? I don't see that happening either, honestly. No, we got the daily refresh, of course. Uh, maybe a new, like, a squad bout? No, there's nothing new in... Okay, so there's nothing new in objectives, which is fine. It's Sunday. It's not expected. SBC-wise. So did we get something SBC-wise or no? Centurion Challenge 2. Team of the Week refreshed. These all refreshed an hour ago or so. Simmons. Foyth was a few days ago. Aspas is ancient. Blanc, Beckham. No SBC content on a Sunday. I'm so confused. So am I blind or... Is the only content today, which I'm okay with it. I mean, if the only content today is actually the mini release and that's it. It, uh... You know what's crazy too, by the way? Is for the RTG in 6pm, I've just gone into a game and I forgot to complete the next stage of Archie Gray. So Archie Gray is going to go from 76 shooting to 79, from 87 dribbling to 90, and from 76 physical to 79. And I forgot to do that. <laughs> awesome. Great job, Nick2080. Anyways, we now need to get 10 wins and 30 assists with Archie, which, I don't know, considering how bad I'm playing is going to take... Wait, what? 
What the hell? Is that new? Wait, another? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? Boost a centurion player with attributes. Overall, max 85. Pace, max 87. Shooting max 85. Shooting minimum 53. Rarity, centurions. I'm so confused. I can't, I like the idea of this. So maybe EA is coming up with an idea essentially for the lower rated Centurions. If you pack them, which most people will, they'll pack a couple of the bad Centurions. You can then potentially upgrade them. I don't know if I hate that. I mean, I feel like it would be cool if you could include the Evos because they would be technically Centurion cards. Like for example, my Archie Gray is an 85 right now, right? And what's his shooting? What's the requirement for shooting? 85, 53 to 85, 53 to 85. So wouldn't that be cool to pull Archie Gray out of this upgrade for the time being, put him into the other upgrade here? I wonder if I can. No, he doesn't count as a Centurion because he's an Evo. Right? Is that why? Well, he's not too high of a rating. Archie Gray fits perfectly. He's 85 rated. Damn that. So that, to me, that's a downside. I, I think you should also be able to use Evo Centurions here. That would be sick. I mean, this is such a useless upgrade, but it is free, right? So you got to remember, as much as this probably doesn't help any of us, what are the Centurions that would even be exciting about that? Let's see. Is there a single Centurion that anyone, any of the dead 85 or less Centurions, that, what is going on? Um, that would even be exciting? Where's the news? Where do I go for news again? I don't remember where the hell the news section is. It's in home, isn't it? Dude, am I okay? There we go, news. And then you go to item releases and it should show us the full team, right? This has been glitched all year. No, nope, it doesn't show us anything, actually. View item. View item releases. Click. View item releases. No, you have to go to a website to see the players that have been released because EA are brain dead. Nah, it doesn't work. Or you have to go into your club and then, of course, look into um, look into it yourself, right? So you go here and then you just you check it out. But it's still... Another glaring uh, bit of silliness from EA. So, Felipe Anderson? No, but you can't even use Felipe Anderson because he's got too much pace, right? I think Felipe Anderson has too much pace. Uh, I guess you could do Dunk. I think you can do Dunk, right? You can't use Mendy. You can use Andrich. You can use Ryerson, which is kind of cool. Um, I believe you can use Muniain. You can't use Simon because he has too much too much stats. So you can use Dunk, Andrich, Ryerson, and Muniain of all the players. Now, again, maybe your club will get a Team 2 Centurion that's relatively low rated that you can then put onto these players. So let's say you have... A pack pulled Andrich, but like you don't even care about him and he looks crap anyways. I wouldn't put him into that Centurion. Wait to see next week what type of lower rated Centurions come in. And then see where uh, where you're at. Wait, it's minimum 53 shooting. Yeah, so he should, he should work, guys. He should work. Guys, do, do, have my viewers like all not gone to high school? Everybody in my chat saying, you're an idiot. It's 53 shooting max. Like, have you guys not learned the basics of min-maxes? <laughs> Boys, for real? Is this EU's education system failing the world? <laughs> Anyways, um, so as it shows here, you can indeed use Dunk. 
Not that I think anyone would care to use him. But, um, yeah, I, I, look, I know everyone's going to lose their minds at how dead this is. I would say this is maybe for the small portion of people that are a Brighton fan. Now they've gotten themselves a dunk and they can actually try and make him a little bit use, more usable. He's still not the best, but he's usable, right? Similarly to a Leverkusen fan with that Andrich, similarly to a, um, I, I would say the, the Bayern fans might be happy. First of all, that mini release uh Dortmund left back looks really good but then you can put him into the upgrade and he looks well let's be real he looks no different even after you spent time upgrading him but at least you can take him from an 84 to an 86 and he goes up to 82 pace <laughs> medium high work rates four star weak foot with a shadow pretty I mean a shadow would be great actually because his physical stats are fantastic yeah so that's all new and then Marta, where's Marta? There's a Marta? There's a lack of, oh, Marta, what? Ooh, a flare playstyle plus, technical, first touch, trickster, acrobatic, and Travella. damn. Again, at central cam, that's a fun ass card. Give her a finisher as well. Mm. Finisher or Maestro, actually? Maestro might even be better. Five-star, four-star, left-footed. That's a f that's a fun card. That's very cool. She probably deserves a higher rating than that, but whatever. EA are really weird. So what is that? Is that a, is she in packs? Or is that... That's probably an SBC. We checked SBCs and there was nothing there. She's probably an SBC, isn't she? Is she an SBC? Um... No? I guess she's in PAX as well. What is happening? Hold on. It's 6 p.m. right now, right? Daylight savings time. If there wasn't daylight savings, 6 p.m. would have been one hour ago. So if EA just kept the content the same, we would have gotten the mini release and all the SPCs an hour ago. If EA had brains and realized that there was daylight savings but wanted to stay on the same time for the UK, we would have gotten all of 6 p.m. content and the mini release right now, right? 10 minutes ago. But it looks like EA are going to release content in an hour, technically at 7 p.m. UK, which is one, one hour further ahead than daylight savings because it shifted back for backwards and two hours in advance of what it should have been before daylight savings so they literally make no sense ea themselves do not even understand what daylight savings is think about think about that now i know what i just said there can be a little bit like oh what the heck is he talking it's, it's, that meme where the math calculations are coming up but it take a couple of seconds think of how hard they have to try to be dumb they didn't release content an hour early, which would have been the same before daylight savings. They didn't release content within the advanced daylight savings where time should be. They are looking to release it two hours technically ahead or an hour ahead. Just whatever. You know what? So Marta, I guess, and maybe whatever other SBCs will be coming in 51 minutes. So sorry, guys. That's 6 p.m. content for you. I mean, I, I got I got nothing else. My brain, I'm so flustered. We are eight wins, eight losses in, in, in champs right now on the RTG. I'm 10 and 2 right now on the main. It's just been a nuts weekend. Uh, I'm flabbergasted, flustered, and fisted by EA. So I love you all. I appreciate you all. Um, like I said, this daylight savings apparently is an insane, difficult thing for EA to understand. So for the next couple of weeks, until North America catches up, because, well, catches up, but falls back, right? The time technically falls back by one hour. Looks like content is going to be just a mishmash of insanity for the next couple of weeks. Uh, I love you all. I appreciate you all. And we'll catch you on the flip side. I think there's a Marta and there's something else. Otherwise, my brain hurts. That's 6 p.m. content for Sunday. Enjoy the mini release. <laughs>
I am eight and eight. I I am eight and eight right now. Oh my god, my brain, my brain is just absolute mush. <sighs> so bad. I'm so bad at this game, dude. I'm so I can't even cheese my way to wins right now. I mean, Pirlo missing that open net, and then Ruter getting a chance off the corner in front of goal, and the keeper still makes a save. I oh, 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 oh I am so confused. How do you score in this game? Sorry, not how do you score in this game because the main account were just walking games, winning like crazy. How do you score and win on the RTG, man? How did I get 13 wins week one, 14 wins week two? And it's been a, since then, the last couple of weeks has been a regression. We went 11 and seven last week after being seven and one. And now this week after being five and one, we are eight and eight, my friends. I am eight wins. Eight losses currently. <sighs> Try fast build up or direct passing tactic. I don't want to play the broken meta. No, I will not do that. If we go freaking nine wins, I don't care. I refuse to bend to this dead meta that every other loser plays. Oh, wow. What an original team, bro. I'm not getting 11 wins, guys. I'm not... Guys, I'm not getting... Look at all these teams I'm playing. There's no chance. I'm at zero ELO right now, and I'm still playing just meta sweat squad after meta sweat squad. Come on, focus. Focus. Giorgino Ruter... We'll clutch Mark up here. Andre Amen. Focus. Just got to play good football. Good tackle. Amen. Pirlo, offside completely. Amen. See, okay, so you see what I'm saying, guys? How is it not one nothing right now? I can't. He just moved the keeper near post. He just moved the keeper near post. Save me, Jesus! Save me, Kelly Clarkson! Amen. Hey, Nick, back to that bit today in my preview pack. Couldn't believe it. Amen. No, here comes the press. Nah, I hate it. Amen. No way he makes that pass. What? Just got randomly nutmegged. I love my life. Amen. Archie Gray, lovely tackle. But still the chance. Timely intervention. Amen. James Madison, the world's best center back. Love it. Kubo? James Just kidding. Amen. And danger averted. Well read. No shot. Tanilo intercepts that through ball. Oh, Jesus. Lord have mercy. Oh, good. Love it. Great tackle, and we've conceded. This game sucks, man. Like, how is this game a thing? What is happening here? I've just made a tackle and put him in on net? Amen. Love the content every day makes. Kisses from Hungary less than three. Amen. Oh my god, man. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Amen. This game is awful. Amen. Oh, he read that pass. An Anzu Fati, amazing. Anzu Fati is literally the world's best DM. His James Madison and Anzu, Anzu Fati have been rocks defensively. I'm gonna scream then. Hey man. I'm gonna scream. What a day so happy to be a part of this community. I coach a newly turned senior team. All players are 18 to 19 years old. Sid just got promoted in our first try. What a day.
Love the content, Nick. Sick football! Hey, man. Here, low, giving us a little bit of sauce. Hey, man. Hey, man. Nick, you can concept players in the EO screen. Theo Hernandez now. Hey, man. Oh, so dangerous. Oh, so dangerous times two. No worries, though. Gets the ball away. No problem. Hey, Nice tackle. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Can he find the man? Wow. Green time crossbody and Donnarumma doesn't even let out a rebound. Holy God, dude. I wish my keeper would do stuff like that. Hey, man. That's a goal. Shocked. I'm actually shocked. It's not a goal. Now that's what I call an eruption. Hey, man. Hey, Mickey. Just reached the three year sub. Looking forward to many more years. Look at this press, bro. Fuck what an off. awful He's game. Oh, okay. Well, we're demonetized. Three years, Habibi. Let's go in 28th love. Hey, man. I don't know where to play the ball, man. Of course. Tried to play the ball to Danilo. Goes to Pirlo, who gets auto-intercepted. Hey, man. Amazing gameplay, man. Amazing gameplay, man. Okay. Well, my whole team just stood back and watched him. Hey, man. Keeper, what the hell, man? And he's celebrating. No less than they deserve. Well, here it is again. It's a well delivered ball. What is Terstegen doing, brother? Oh my days. Russia. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. But no damage done, that's the main thing. <sighs> Teo Hernandez. Dembele. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Managers will now deliver their half time team talks. We're at the end of 45. Uh, the Evo they dropped today is just, I don't know. It applies to four players, so it's pretty stupid. But I suppose if you got one of the four bad players as Centurions, you can make them a little bit better. I think that's EA's thought process. I don't hate the overall idea. Um, I think, again, the execution's a bit dumb. Like, honestly, I think they should include Evo Centurions in there, too. Again, what's wrong with making one or two of your Evo Centurions slightly better? Um, but maybe that's the plan in the future. I just think, as always, pretty poorly executed. I, I don't I don't dislike it. I, I don't dislike it. I just think uh, EA let themselves down with the execution more than anything. Awesome. Bre just a brilliant pass from Cole, man. To no one. A literal pass to no one. But no worries. It's all good, man. The one-two passes between his players, just all millimeter perfect. One-two chip balls. I literally did the R1 double press... And it opened up Haaland for a tap-in. Hey, man. Unbelievable, man. What an awful game. What an awful game. Only, only made worse by a terrible community. And across the touchline, so a throw-in here. 
Gray. The Sanders have the ball again. Rashford. And Sufati. I'm surprised I didn't give away a pen there. Look at Ansu Fati, bro. Look at Ansu Fati. What? Instead of a pass to Ruter, who's in on net. I give up, guys. I give up for the weekend. I think I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done for the weekend, man. I'm out. I'm out, man. I've given up. I've given up. Easy little through ball there with Archie Gray. Click through ball, and it forces it to Somerville, who's completely out of position. And the Founders losing control of the ball. Danilo Pereira. <laughs> this is Varan. Walker. Read that pass all the way. Cutting it out. That's not a foul, by the way. Gray now. What is happening? I can't even make passes, man! Teo Hernandez. Now we have 30 minutes to go. Hernandez. Dude, what is happening, man? What do I do? Genuinely. Terrible pass. My fault. That, that, that pass is my fault. That's not Pirlo's fault. That was a bad decision there. Nice tackle. That's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Russia. Pirlo. Hey, man. <laughs> if I played that forward pass that you all are screaming for me to make, it would have got intercepted. That's why I can't do it. The high press had two of his defenders waiting to step into that pass. All right. Dude, what is this, man? Sandro <sighs> Tonali. Teo Hernandez now. Spraying passes around all Awesome. See, but I pinch a pass manually and it just double bounces a mile into the sky to let him have the ball back. Madison with it. Disaster, guys. Uh, absolute disa disaster class. He's given us away. Hey, man. Moving it forward. And teammates to play it to. Oh, no call. Can he finish? Oh, do, you, do you see what I just did there? Do you see that skill move to beat the defender? And by the time my player shot cross post... He moved his keeper for the crossbody shot. Do you see the type of football I'm playing and I'm rewarded with nothing? I don't know, man. You tell me. You tell me if this is even worth attempting to care about this game. Wow, what? Oh my god. Goes to the one player of his that's even in the game. Crossing into the middle. Unreal, man. You know what's crazy, guys? Defensively, obviously, I've been terrible because anytime someone runs down the byline, even if I defend it, I concede. So Amen. if you want to be harsh on me, defensively, I guess I've been awful this whole weekend because I, I think the only goals I concede are counterattacks or just run to the byline cheese. 
right, we've got to go on to team press. I'm sure my team will do nothing, but anyways. Um, so defensively, I've been awful. But dude, the football I have played offensively this weekend has been incredible. I've done some of the sickest things all weekend on this RTG with Ruter, and I think I've scored maybe 5% of my beautifully created chances. Of course, instant AI interception, and that's game over. Wow, man. Going to be stoppage time, but only wow, bro, I just, I'm just in, just disgust. Just in. disgust with this community. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, they weren't at their best today. I don't know what to say, guys. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know how I've lost these games. I'm eight and nine right now. I'm eight wins and nine losses, dude. At least you'll have an easy game with a negative record. That does not work, bro. That's not how things work, at least not in North America. There's no easy games, man. Unfortunately. I've never been more lost. I've never been more lost. I've never played better attacking football and still not, like, barely score goals and then just lose to two or three attacks. Oh my god, man. This is, I, I'm eight and nine. I have to go, I have to win three straight. This is fucking crazy. Absolutely crazy, man. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson. And on the menu, live coverage of the champion. Jesus final. Christ Almighty. Stuart, okay, man. <laughs> well, they need the three points here today. <sighs> they were disappointing last time out, but I think they've got some good players. We might just turn it on here. This will be an interesting game, that's for sure. Not nice tackle. The game this way. And immediately the high press begins. Win the ball back and get fisted by four players at once. Win the ball back. Every passing lane covered. I have no idea how I got that much power on a low driven from like 25 yards out. This game is just an RNG game, I suppose. I think this game is just an RNG. Rashford. Look at this press. Look at that press, bro. Jimmy, it's a triangle pass. Oh, well, that through ball works. I can't, guys. I'm baffled. My through balls, my passes don't work. Why the delay? Again, the delay in the pass instead of through balling it first time. Oh, I fucking hate this game. Oh, that 
one has promise. It really favors this position. Nice tackle. But they took care of the situation defensively. <laughs> this is so fun, man. Great interception, just kidding. Great tackle, just kidding. intervention dude what is going on foul that was a tackle by the way chance to cross Odrich and on to Bellingham Bad pass. Danilo might be the worst player I've ever used, by the way. Like, genuinely the worst card I've ever used. This 86 Centurion Danilo is the worst card I've ever used, I think. I gotta get Ampadu back in the team, man. This Danilo is terrible. Wow. Opportunity in the wide area. Now feeling in field. But really sticking to the task defensively. Awesome passing. Defensive resilience <laughs> to shut them down. <laughs> What in the hell? What? Danilo Pereira. And the ball back with nutmegs now. I'm, I can't, man. I, 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 guys, there's no chance, man. There's just no chance. I have no chance. I'm so bad at this game. Every bounce. That's another ball. I had to move to Stegen, otherwise I would have conceded there. Unfortunately. Isn't that crazy how I got compressed there? What a dead game. Terrible goal. Terrible goal. I'll take it, but terrible goal. Awful, awful, awful goal for me. In the corner. Let's try again. Holy, what an in, what a what a clearance there! Wow. No, I don't. 
think we're getting a second informed Somerville, man, unfortunately. I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening, brother. It's too bad, but it's kind of just where we are at this point. Um, in games look different than his normal card it's because it applies his uh, chem style I why am I playing that pass I thought he was gonna overcommit there with um oh well we probably conceded read the pass still concede the pass <laughs> read the pass cover the pass still concede the pass sick man sick love it love that dude Great vision to switch the play. Will there be an outplay here? And the fans are not happy. They need to show more urgency now. What a save. I don't know. Did I have a pass there? Should I try to Travella? I don't know. I don't know. I think I did something. I did that wrong, didn't I? What a save, Allison. And defensive play to be applauded. Is it going to be? Dude, what I just did with Jorginho Ruter in this game, I've been doing all weekend long. All weekend long, and yet I've lost nine games on this account. What you guys just watched here, I've done all weekend long, and I've still lost nine games. I just, I'm bamboozled. I've said it a million times, but I am. I'm boozled and I'm bammed. Oh my god, dude, this is too much stress. <laughs> This is too much stress, man. Oh, get this absolute shite card out of the team, though. He's so bad. Let's get Ampadu back in the setup. Well, not Nanto, dude. What am I doing? Um, yeah, This guy will be SBC fodder. He's terrible. I, I'm not getting on with Pirlo either, guys. I gotta be honest. I'm really, really not getting on with Pirlo at all. The idea of using Pirlo is very fun, but the actual use of Pirlo is not fun. That 80 sprint speed and 81 acceleration, uh, no joke. Hey man. If you're playing Happy idiots that don't know what they're doing, you're just vibing in like Division 7, you know, or you've, you're playing every broken meta tactic and hey mechanic in the game, I'm sure Pirlo is usable. But when you're trying to play like possession, tiki-taka football, using none of the broken meta mechanics, while you're playing someone that's psycho at the game and breaks every meta mechanic, he just can't, he can't cope. Or at least I can't cope using him. Uh, maybe if I was running the meta mechanics, I could then probably do a little bit with Pirlo, but dude, he's just, he's too hard to use, man. He's too hard to use. You know, have fun getting this card, vibing out, he, you'll still have fun with him, I'm sure. You know, go play, go play world-class squad battles. You can just vibe out. But if you're not breaking every mechanic in the game and every tactic, meta tactic in the game, I don't know that this Pirlo will be that good for you. So, as always with any fuck card, depending on your playstyle, Pirlo will be good or bad, I suppose. For me and my playstyle, this Pirlo sucks. I just can't, I can't even come to grips with this card at all. Anyways, two more games, boys. Let's moan it in, I suppose.
uh, to everybody that subbed during that hellhole of the last two games, thank you all so much, man. Gulls with three gifted subs. Nero's with a $25 a month resub. That probably got this video demonetized. <laughs> thank you, man. Um, Tunic, RJ, Slodveros, Stefan with a brand new sub. Steph, Jim Bob, William, Relic, Recluse, uh, Chibzy. Love you, BB. Grim, thank you guys, man. Hey, man. All right. Oh my God. Two games left. I mean, this is by far my worst champs run in history of this game mode being out. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. In seven years, seven years of FUT champs, this has been my worst weekend ever. Nuts. Yeah, at least that's a cool team. Uh, hopefully he doesn't play the broken meta, but that is a cool team at least. Yeah, they played well in the last game, but they need to match that performance today. It should be a good game. Oh, the press has already begun. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, they're going to play with two wingers in this 4-3-3 formation, so they need to switch the ball quickly and get crosses into the box. But they also need to get at least two midfield. Oh, Stewart's a chance! Terrific piece of attention. What a block, man. I tried to bait the... um. What a save. Dear Lord. I just missed an open net. Wonder save and open net missed. Alright. Well, that's difficult. I'm not scoring those two chances. This might be a... Um, a painful, painful experience. Close. Well, that's a decent looking attack, this. Right back to him. Right back to him. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. My fault. Andrea Pirlo. Might work out. Would you believe my finger fell off my uh, left analog? That's a tap in. I don't know how that went out of bounds. Alfonso Davies. I actually don't know how that went out of bounds. Oh, we're so fucked, man. Good save, Tush takes. No way. 66 shooting. She just banged that from 40 yards with about one bar of power. I'll tell you what, she's glad she did. <sighs> oh my god, man. Arguably three missed chances for me, and I'm one nothing down. Alright, well. Hey, man. Another month in the bag. Road to 86 Pellula take off. And the threat goes by Cole out wide. And playing it back. A gift for any goalkeeper. Okay. She has 54 long shots. Fantastic. And a lot to like about this attack. Nice tackle, just kidding. Nice tackle, just kidding. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Nice interception, just kidding. Hey man. I've conceded again. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident. And not giving the opposition much of a look in. They couldn't maintain possession. Alfonso Davies. A bit 
Did my guy just tackle through my back to win the ball? He did, right? Literally two tackles and it bounces back to him. Oh, Jesus Lord, man. Oh my God. What an awful gaming experience, man. Okay, well, I did not do that, but awesome. Nah, it's not, it's not meant to be, guys. Fucking nine wins, dude. Nine wins. Nine wins, bro. Nine wins. Nine wins this weekend. Nine wins this weekend, bro. Nine wins. Nine wins, man. Looking for a teammate. Marvelous anticipation. You can see he's on 71 depth by how far up the field this whole team is. Awesome. Awesome. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Can he get on the end of this one? Well, that has been deemed offside, Stuart. Well, he took too long to get the pass away. It's as simple as that. Well, for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. From down Look at here, this looks press, like he landed man. actually on top of his elbow. That's why he's in so much discomfort, and that's why, of course, the fence are so concerned. Cheers, Jeff. Pulls it back. What a play. And the AI lunges in to intercept. Unreal. I thought that was such a good play. And that's offside. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Time to play hey, How the work. fuck do you tackle the ball back that effectively, man? Every tackle is a lunge tackle immediately with the win back of possession. Well, they have to pay attention. Well, not to be in terms of the counter attack. I guess when you high press, you can afford to just dive into tackle after tackle because the AI just fills the positions that you leave open, right? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Every time you fail a tackle, there's five other AI defenders just in the possession where you need to be. James Madison. This is insanity. This has ruined this game, man, this press BS. A chance to whip it in. So it is, the first half story has been written. Nick, how many wins you got this weekend? Exclamation mark record. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. A move of promise what in the, the flank. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Look at that press, man. The defenders know they need to get no shot. It just goes behind my player, man. Now in a more than decent position. Okay, I'm done. I'm done, man. I've lost my mind. I've lost my mind playing this game. My, my passes just do not work, man. But my opponent passes the ball at my guys marking the passing lane, and nine times out of ten, they make the pass. Jenny. Ethan Ampadu. Now, what can they do from here? Well, Fuck off. Shit game. Promising. I hate this game. No way that pass works, man. Decent looking pass. It's got to be. 
Are you fucking... Hey man. No way. Just a useless pass. I'm lost, guys. I'm so lost. That's a foul. Has to be a hey, foul. No power visible. Awesome. He's it. I can't even see the power, man. Bottom right of the screen. I don't get the loading power for free kicks. I haven't for years. And over comes the corner. I just got bullied in the air. It's game over. It needs an accurate cross. Intercepting it intelligently. On she goes in possession. Can she pick the right option? But they dealt with the threat first. I can't. I can't. I can't. Close. Nice tackle, right back to him. Brilliant pass. And a goal this time, applying the finish. He's pausing for me to quit, man. God, this community is terrible. What a horrible community. What a horrible community, man. Touch, just what the doctor ordered. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Shackleton. Ampadu. Andre here. Now Ada Minitao. Kubo. Incisive pass. Wow. Okay. Keeper moved for the crossbody, so do a power shot near post, and keeper still saves it. Rip, man. Absolutely rip. See about the delivery and just wide with the header. And he's in an offside position. Alfonso Davies. Araujo. Jonathan Close. Oh, he's given the ball. Look at how heavy that tackle is. That interception, sorry. It's a weighted pass. Besides to shoot. And the keeper more than equal to it. What the hell? Ronaldo couldn't even move. He's being held by three players. I couldn't even move Ronaldo into that position. Holy good lord. 
Danilo Pereira. Awesome. Great tackle. Just kidding. Have the ball back again. It's fine. Oh, good tackle again. A foul. Unreal. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage. Absolutely zero advantage, man. Kubo. Ethan Ampadu. It was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Oh, he's literally just time wasting. Amazing. Dude, what? And defensive play to be applauded. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Another foul? No? No? Oh, okay. Well, he's certainly not alone. A good vision there. Jamie Shackleton. Wow. Defending. An interception. And tremendous individual skill. Nice weight on the pass. Just straying offside. And stopping at the danger. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Wow, great touch there. Wow, great pass there, guys. Just, you know, what an overall amazing weekend, man. What a just great gaming experience this has been. Let's fly here. Oh, yes. He's going to be proud of that moment. What purity of strikes. Caught an And there goes the final whistle. Much to the disappointment of their supporters. Fifty-four long shots, by the way. This Ingrid engine has fifty-four long shots. She shot that with her weak foot, Travella'd into the net. Oh no, she shot it with her right. Fifty-four long shots, dude. She scored that from about forty-five yards out. And then this guy, literally on zero stamina. God knows what his long shots are, but again, about 30-something yards out. Jesus Christ. Nine wins this weekend, guys. I've gone nine and ten. Nine and ten is what I've gone this week. I have never, ever, ever in the history of champs ever finished this, I don't even know what to say. I mean, hey, I suck, man. I suppose probably for the first year in a very long time, I actually fully suck at this game. So there you have it. It's uh, 7 p.m., but technically 6 p.m., but technically 8 p.m., but technically 9 p.m., but it's 7 p.m., and apparently they dropped content, as we suggested, with how stupid they are. Yeah, there's the Marta for you guys. Anybody that's interested. I don't care. I just don't. I'm so done with this game right now, man. I don't care. Awesome. Great. Congratulate. I mean, spend three for 400k on this card, I suppose. I think Marta's cool. She deserves a better, better card than that, personally. What other godforsaken garbage have they given us? Oh, 7 p.m. A max 87 hero upgrade. Like, max 87 rated. Dude, I got a Yaya Toure. You can't do better than that. You can do it twice? Oh my god, man. Max 87 rated is such a disgrace.
I don't even... Do I even have enough players to do this once? Let's see. Honestly, Danilo can go to hell. He's part of the reason why we finished on nine wins this week. Worst player ever. Um, Engine can go to hell. Hurtig can go to hell. Grealish can go to hell. Rapino can 100% go to hell. Um, Zalazar can go to hell. Burger, Tiago, Summer, Hope. Okay. Okay, so an 86 rated player can be used. Which 86 do we use? Wilson. I don't need that Wilson. He's garbage as well. All right, there we go. I'm I'm rage eating this whole RTG club. I don't care, man. I'm just I'm so over this dead game. I'm so just so annoyed. I should be annoyed with myself, realistically. It's my own fault that I've just bottled, dude, from five in one. Bro, I went four wins, nine losses across my last whatever that is, 13 games. I was five wins and one loss. I finished nine wins and ten losses. I don't even, I have no words. I, ha I have, I have no words. This is, I have never been this terrible at the game. I'm so disgusted with myself, man. They've made Marta 240k. On PC, I think, I think she's 300k. On PC, I genuinely think she's 300k. Uh, so, Deserts, where would we put Deserts? Rangers player. No man left behind, right? Um, I guess into marquee matchups. How much chem do I need? GG to Man City, of course. Alright, All right, unfortunate, I guess. And I think you can also use the uh, women as well. Right now. Okay, so maybe we'll do this then. We'll go Man City. Perfect. Didn't even see what her price was. Clubs minimum four, gold players. Oh, gold players minimum three. And it could just be silver? Oh, actually, that's pretty great. I mean, obviously, I got to throw in um, what's his name, but that's fine. Let me see what silver just English players I have, because I probably got a ton. Oh, forgot to search for England. I don't know if I have enough rares. I'm not using Ian Pavetta, of course. <laughs> Just all Leeds players. Um, that's ten chem. And that's what one, two. Okay, so then the next, I, I guarantee it I don't have Prem Silvers. If I do, again, no I don't. What about women's Prem players Silver? No. Or 
good chunk of Bundes silvers, but um got the center backs goalkeeper go to the bundes women vamos okay that's pretty good Oh, we got to be close, right? Oh, God. No, we are not. We are not close at all. This is what happens when you're just irritated. Your brain functions at zero capacity. English CB. really use any of that. It's Javi Bonds. How far does that get us? Okay. So maybe her and Oh, that's a super link between the two of them. Ruin this guy's day thinking he's going to get him for 300 on bid. One chem? What? Well, in that case, then you got to do this. I'm going to go do an England. Um, yeah, I mean, whatever. We'll help a guy doing the silver pack method. Why not? There we go. All right. Sorry, boys. That took way longer than I wanted it to. But how's your guys' hero cards looking? Good, bad, awful, terrible, the best, the worst. Okay, we got a prime mixed. I haven't opened my pack yet. We're going to do it um, right now, actually. I mean, hey, my day couldn't get any worse, right? Just had the worst run of games uh, ever on a road to glory. So surely, maybe we get something good from the hero. That'd be great. Norwich fans, maybe? Looks like a, a Wish version of Mudrik. Both looks-wise and card-wise. That's saying something pretty wild. I don't even know what a Wish version of Mudrik would be, but... That dude looked like it. Okay. Right. Um, did I, I? I didn't put it into favorites. Whoops. Would it be upgrades or challenges? Oh, it's an upgrade. Of course, it's called an upgrade. Here we go, boys. First hero upgrade. On Earth. Um, all these guys have pretty high value, right? So, makes sense to hold. I'm okay to get rid of all these cards, honestly. Maybe the RTTK, because you never know what's going to happen, right? In the, in, the, uh, in the Champions League. But all these cards, I think I'm okay to get rid of. 
Not saying I'm going to, but I, I think I'm perfectly fine getting rid of. I mean, Kolomwani is discard, which is mind blowing. Good, really, really good card too. Benyeds can get effed. And then obviously we're gonna need uh, maybe an 86. 85 will definitely not work. 86. Yeah, 86 works. Um, There we go. That's why we did La Sommer. She can get yeeted. All right, boys. So first 87 hero upgrade pack. I mean, I am not allowed to want anything good from these packs for the rest of the year. I got a Yaya Toure and he doesn't even get in my team. Cue everybody in the chat saying, This is why you only got nine wins. You're using Archie Gray instead of Yaya Toure. You deserve to get nine. Whatever, dude. Whatever. I want to use Ruter and I want to use Archie Gray. Cry about it. I'm not doing a roulette, dude. I don't care. I'm I'm so flustered with this game, man. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm excited cycling through nations right now. I'm just going to open this damn pack. I am... 38 years old i'm not going to pretend like i care what i'm going to get in this pack because realistically i know i'm not going to get anything great so here we go i don't even know who this could be is this dirt huh okay that's kind of a surprise i think that's actually all right honestly once again, yet another box-to-box -box mid, technically. I mean, I don't know where else I would use him. Flip it. <laughs> Imagine. A double hero. Thought that was Wesley. No, Wesley is uh, an 80. I wish. That's what a Wesley would look like, but this is an 87 max. Wesley's 88 rated. That's pain. Probably better than what most people have gotten. He's wearing a Feynord kit, right? Ew. <clears throat> Pretty cool card, though, honestly. With an engine, that's a hell of a box-to-box -box mid. I mean, I know 66 standing tackle is terrible, but... I, I suppose you could give him a Guardian or an Anchor as well. Five years at Feynord. It's crazy. Ten years. Ten years he played for Holland. 24 goals in 100 plus games. That's not bad. All right, let's go get our champs rewards, boys. My, I, I, I want to get off this. I want to get off this game. <laughs> this game's giving me depression on a Sunday. Um, I, I think I've given myself depression on a Sunday, man. Got the Monday blues coming up. And imagine spending my Sunday just getting clapped in Ultimate Team champs. Goodness gracious. Um, Alright. I can't even look at that record. I honestly, I can't. That makes me sick. I can't even look at that record, man. What a disaster. What a freaking disaster. Um, all right. Okay. At least someone gets to come up against a cool team to finish. Hey, no, real life, it's all good. This is a video game, right? At the end of the day, who cares? I'm more disappointed that I'm not able to give you guys good rewards. I mean, you know... It is what it is. I'm purposely not playing the broken meta, so... I, 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 the fact that we're 10-2 and two on the main account is pretty cool, considering the style of play we're playing. But I just... I feel like, at the very least, I should be able to get 11 wins, man. Like, this has been a very, very, very bad weekend. Um, but that's life. Leeds got a massive win in real life. Man United got smashed. You know? It's, uh... It's, it's all good. It's all good. My son's got football tryouts uh, today for a different league and team. So it's all good, man. We're, we're living. I've got my health. I can't, I'm 38 years old. I can't let, 
results in a video game um, actually tilt me, right? Like, I mean, in the moment, of course, you're going to get mad, but you got to just move on, man. Got to just move on. It, it, it tells more about me and my lack of maturity um, if I'm actually letting this game get to me beyond in the moment in the moment if you're getting cheesed i don't care how old you are how much success you have jesus christ um look at the i'm nine and ten and this is the team i'm coming up against bro what the hell is matchmaking this weekend man Whatever, man. You better reciprocate, you nerd. You better be giving back to the community. Stupid FIFA sweats. They get free wins and they don't give anything back. Anyways. um, There it is, boys. Nine win rewards. Never did I ever think I would actually see these types of rewards. Um, two PPs, an 85 plus rare, a 50k, and an ultimate pack. I mean, I guess for nine wins, you get all auto-qualified for Weekend League, so that's kind of a W. And uh, 1,100 XP. So first 84 plus. Amazing. Fantastic. We get uh, two 84s and an 85. Second 84 plus. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah, imagine getting a Hullet out of one of those, dude. How crazy would that be? Then, no and then. And then, we'll finish with the 85 plus. We get the 50k pack. You know what? Tomorrow, we'll do squad battle rewards and the other hero upgrade. Okay, guys? Center mid arsenal. It's got to be a female, right? Oh, wow. Flip it, maybe? A cheeky 50k flip it. Nope. No flip it for me. No flip it for... Ooh, nice, though. Not bad. I'll take that. That's 13k. And... Yeah, that's... I think they're about 7,500 now. So that's not bad. That's 20,000 coins back. That's all discards. I don't think there's anything of value here, so we'll store all of that. And then the ultimate pack, which is, in my opinion, the worst pack in the game. But hey, if we get a hullet, I won't complain. 91 rated? Nope. Flip it. Give me a flip it. Flip me. Flip me off at least. No. Flip me on my back and call me Sally? No. Okay. Never mind. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, why didn't he walk out? We just got a Centurion walkout that didn't walk out. Huh? I'm sure he's discard price. Wow, he's 30k. That's actually not terrible, you know. Should I take the 30k, guys? I feel like I should take the 30k, he? Hey? Evo him? I'm not gonna Evo him yet, no. I'm gonna take the 30. You know what? We need all the coins we can get. We just dropped like 150k on Archie Gray's Evo, so trying to rebuild the coin balance is uh, imperative. She's 22. We'll put her up for 21.5. This is good, man. This is not bad, honestly. Not bad at all. Bremer might even sell for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, um. Oh wait, no wait. Are all 84s up in price? Oh, I should probably be selling then, because of the hero, right? Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. And then Raspadori will put up top for upgrade packs more. Yeah, so tomorrow's going to be upgrade packs. Um, yeah, upgrade packs, the second hero upgrade, and squad battle rewards is what tomorrow's epi is going to be. All right, let's finish with the 85+. plus. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of the RTG. I mean, hey, the first hero pack was actually pretty good today. Uh, champ rewards at least got us coins, right? So might have been my worst ever weekend, but we did get a good chunk of coins, I think. We're at least at about 100 to 120k made from nine wins, which is, I don't know if I deserve that considering how bad we did. Uh, I've seen some people go rank one and not even get 50k in return. Well, they get 50k coins liquid, but um, so 
be back again tomorrow. I'm not going to give up. I know there's going to be a lot of messages in, like there has been in the Twitch chat throughout those games and throughout this episode today. I'm sure they'll be in the YouTube comments. I'm sure they'll be in my mentions on Twitter. To switch it up, dude. Just, just play the meta. Take those players out of the team. Start using the best players. Make it easy for yourself to get wins. My answer to that is... Hell damn no. I'm going to keep using Archie Gray. I'm going to keep using Ruter. I'm going to keep using Shackleton. I'm going to keep using Ampadu. I, I'm going to keep playing this game the way I want. Now, unfortunately, that means I'm probably going to lose a hell of a lot more games than normal, which means I'm going to complain a lot. But I will try to not complain and be toxic. That is my challenge. My challenge is to not figure out how to win against the meta because that seems to be impossible. My challenge is to be classy while getting clapped by high press and R1 counterattacks down the byline, scoring tap-ins, even when I read every passing lane possible, they still force the pass into the passing lane and then they score a tap-in and then run to the corner and celebrate. That's fine. We're gonna be positive Peters over here. God bless you, thank you for watching, we'll see you tomorrow. For 8 p.m. content and 7 p.m. content and the RTG all in one. Flip it? You have to. Oh wait, I, you can't even flip it. It's one card. I deal smeal. We'll catch you on the flip side. I'm gonna go sit in an ice bath. I'm stressed. Peace.